Whenever you you're wake thinking up, about you it, brush your teeth, you send dynasty trades. Like yes. that's what your day should look like. Yeah. And if it doesn't, you're doing something wrong. Did you know the best strategy in Dynasty is to sell a player as soon as they produce? <laughs> that's sarcasm. Depends on how you define a good dynasty team. And, and that can be subjective, but to us, good means you win money because money is cool. Why the heck else would you get in these leagues with a buy-in if you didn't want to win the entire league and take people's money? A, a team that can compete for two or three years, that's what makes a good dynasty roster. That's what makes, you're just donating your buy-in if you're just in a perpetual rebuild. I'm a genius, dude. I know. It's If you let what you think about a player override value, thinking strategically, it's going to kill you. Look beyond your opinion of a player and look at the market value. If someone has fallen two rounds, take them. Yeah, and I think that's really what we're saying. It often behooves you to down tier for more points instead of down tiering for depth. Are you like doing and like an SAT word Because really <laughs> <laughs> you keep saying usurp and be I'm sorry. I, well, I've I, never said to you. Like what's the app on your phone where you like learn new words? <laughs> word well, day. that's what yeah. I've been doing this entire <laughs> time. I'm like, <laughs> th- th- I've been th- thesaurusing all when of When you this, see so. Nathan sitting in thought, he's like, what word am I going to use when it gets to me? <laughs> Go ahead. No, but Chris, I love him, Olave. Yep. Chris, Olave, I love him. Yeah, Drake, I love him, London. Not somebody that we did a prospect video before the draft. Not somebody that I watched film on. Did you watch film on him? I did. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Did you watch film on him? I did. Okay, <laughs> everybody watch film but me. Market value fluctuates week to week in Dynasty. And the funny thing is, it actually happens more in the off season than it does during the actual season when things are going on. Because crazy. Dynasty players get bored. Because we get bored. That's why we play Dynasty. Yep. There are a couple guys in Dynasty that you really can't say anything about without getting completely trash for them. No, 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 no. But buy Tony Pollard now while he's going but, in the fifth but, okay, round. So but, next year, you can make sure you brag about it when there he's going you go. in the 11th. If you really want to buy into high-producing running backs, why not do the running backs that have already fallen because of the age? Zero. There's zero chance that his value is higher next year than it is now with Tony. There's not a chance. Please sell Tony Pollard. Please do not draft him. Draft the young wide receiver instead. Nick Chubb. And if you're, I, some of you are gonna watch this and still draft him anyways, and, and you're just you're hopeless. I'm sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't wow. be playing Dynasty. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with you guys? I mean, seriously, like, I mean, <laughs> what is it about Tony Pollard that we're that excited about? You think Tony Pollard's the workhorse between the tackles back? Seriously? And now all of a sudden, yeah. out of nowhere. It's Cam Akers' season again, it's and he's sliding back. Cam Akers, so he's going, you, you have, I kid you not, a third chance to sell Cam Akers. I am pleading with you to do it now. I've do never it. seen it. I've never <laughs> seen And I, People are like, oh, I'm not so sure I'm, I'm selling Cam Akers. Why? Why would you not? Somebody's going <laughs> to somebody's gonna get on this jersey wearing a split Tony Pollard Cam Akers jersey. Like, These guys suck. <laughs> Like, the Bears suck. That's why they have the first overall pick. Yeah. It is hilarious how how much Bears fans have been flexing that they got the number one pick. I'm like, you are flexing that you were the. We have Justin Fields in- and the number one pick. Is there a correlation there? <laughs> because I'm already, I can already tell people are watching this video and there's tears rolling down their face. They just, they're so mad. Subpar analysis. <laughs> Do us a huge favor. If you want these huge values, do a huge like on this huge video and make sure you huge subscribe. And that didn't make sense. It's working. It's Friday night. And so naturally, especially six days before the NFL draft. Whoa. Which, by the way, I love the NFL draft, and I know you love the NFL draft because as Dynasty players, that's how we operate. Six days until the draft, and tonight we're going to do a Dynasty rookie mock draft. Only a couple of these until we know the landing spot. So happy to be with you tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you are a domain mother flocker over at flockfantasy.com slash domain, and if you use code domain and you're in our crew and you've gotten a blueprint and all that, you're going to be able to draft with us tonight. So in the announcements tab, I just dropped... All of this link in all of its glory, and you can jump in. We're going to be doing a couple rookie drafts tonight to prepare for next week and see how things are panning out. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we're glad you joined us tonight. And there's a couple of you guys in the comments. Uh, Let's get the first comment. As always, you were the first one here. Uh, Sassetit Lux says, In response to your video about downturn, would you give the 102 for the 105 and a projected mid-25 first, expecting Odunze at five instead of Marvin Harrison Jr.? I think I would do that for a mid-25 first. Would you do that? 
Is that enough? Uh, I mean, yeah, you're you're getting a first to move down three spots, and I know it's a different tier, but it doesn't it doesn't matter to me. That's what that's what we want to see. That's yeah. what we want to see. Are you reading blueprints tonight? We are not reading any blueprints tonight, but we might do that sometime very soon. Eat, sleep, dynasty your main content. Repeat. What's up, Damien? Good to have you here. Your Twelve team. You got a two one hundred two one hundred seven for Puka in the one hundred five. Absolutely, I think I'm taking that, Nathan. I think you take the Puka side. You you rarely pick against Puka. Oh, come on, man. You know me. Okay. Of course I am. Yeah. Of course I am. And our guy Bruce. Bruce is Bruce. a new member. So, Bruce, appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for joining us. And with that, we are happy to have all of you guys here. Let's go ahead and get into our mock draft and do some analysis. Again, as we get very close to what is going to be... I, I'm, I am honestly so excited for these this year's rookie draft just because of the sheer, the sheer depth of the class. But we got a bunch of guys here drafting with us that we love having. Corey's up first. Corey, great having you here, my friend. Uh, Dynasty Domain's in-house lawyer. Uh, Nikmo's here. Nikmo, what's up, buddy? Wafflehauser is here. Hardly Wafflehauser, know her. hardly know her. Cheesehead15, good to see you, my friend. Herbs is here. What's up, Herbs? Big 20. Booty Clap King. Yo, yo. Oh. Thrawn040, what's up, buddy? Raul Kier. Kingdom12. Andrew B1320 and Rudovid. I, I know so, most of these names, but again, the sleeper names, the Discord names being different. If Wafflehauser autos, I freaking swear. I freaking swear, Wafflehauser. Are you kidding me? Waffle. Oh, oh, he's right there. Oh. He, well, that's, that's well, that wasn't the ADP pick, was it? Maybe it is the ADP pick, ADP pick at this point. Don't but okay, me. so Williams at one, Harrison, and then neighbors, which again. We talked about this in our wide receiver video this week, but these two are definitely being definitely being projected a lot higher than Romo Dunze. And you saw our video oh, yeah. on Romo Dunze, and you saw how much we're hyping him up now. We really do genuinely believe, but look at this. Because of how this shaped out, you're getting Drake May at the 106 here. And if J.J. McCarthy gets top five draft capital, you're getting him. The I'm telling you, the 107 is the place to be. Place to That's be. the, place even the be. 108. Dude, even if one of these guys in this range falls unexpectedly, like. I know. Seriously. I know. That's that's exactly what I'm thinking. I mean, if Bowers falls, if McCarthy falls, if Brian Thomas falls, it doesn't matter because one of these one of these running backs is going to be on the rise. We have a super chat from our guy Neil. Neil, what's up, buddy? Thank you so hey, much Neil. for your super chat. Appreciate you, man. Says, "What's good, boys? Super flexed PPR. No tight end premium. Which of the following are you moving Laporta for? Neighbors, Odunze, May, McCarthy, Bowers. Uh, in a non tight end premium, I would move him for. Is it also? Do you follow CDL that Bruce was on point? I don't think I got it from there. I, where did I get that from? I don't know." I don't follow. I don't think I follow that. But thank you so much for your super chat. And also, um, moving Laporta for neighbors. Check Odunze. Check May. Check Bowers. Check. Oh no, no, sorry. McCarthy. Check Bowers. You, you would you would move Laporta for for Odunze in a non titan premium? Absolutely, fruitly, yes. Absolutely, no question in my mind would I do that in a non titan premium league? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. You, okay. you in a, Even in a non titan premium, you would take Laporta over Odunze. I think they're at least in the same tier. Mm, yeah, I mean, no, I'm taking Rome. I, I mean, we, we've, I, we've hyped I mean, Rome up this I whole mean, week. Like, I'm taking Rome. I mean, value-wise, they're, they're probably both going to be mid to late third round picks in non titan premium. Uh, I think Laporta in non titan premium is going more fourth. Oh, but I, I think that's where I, Rome is I going, too. See late third, I think Rome's undervalued. I think it's Rome. I think I'm taking Rome. Cool. Uh, the only one I wouldn't trade there laterally is, is Bowers. So, uh, appreciate you. Thank you so much for your super chat. Alex, what's up, uh, buddy? You traded the 104, 107, 109 for... <laughs> you just had I to couldn't get, help it. You had to get that one in, didn't you? 104, 107, 109 for Amon Ross St. Brown, the 112 and an early 25 first. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a smash. I, I'm taking that all day, every day, twice on Sundays. Oh, yeah. Great trade. Oh, yeah. Thanks for your super chat, Alex. Appreciate having you here, man. Let us know if you need anything. Hummels is here. Hummels says, it's been a long week. It has been a long week. Yep. Glad I could end it with a cold beer and some love, DD. Dude, <laughs> Hummels, really glad you're here. We would, we love it when you're on these streams with us. You make it a lot more fun. So appreciate you being here and appreciate you being one of us. Um, let's and then go. He said live. And by that, some live DD. Live. live DD. That makes sense too. I, I mean, love would have worked there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Neil's live, live love 
Yeah. The, so he says, yeah, Neil says, I also have McBride and Pitt, so I'm trying to get one of them. What, getting, I'm trying to get off one of these tight ends. Good move. <laughs> Smart yes. idea for sure. Um, I mean, see more. what you can get from McBride and Pitts first before yeah. Laporta. Yeah, yep, that's that's what because I was Because I think you say. could potentially get Pitts for Odunze. McBride for Odunze. Like, yeah. try that. Yep. But, yeah, but I'd, definitely... I'd package, I'd package McBride and Pitts and try to get Odunze plus a little... I, I mean, especially in a non-Titan premium, you do not need those tight ends. Even in a yep. Titan premium, you don't. I mean, we always recommend guys with three stud tight ends like that just just tear off and, and go get one elite tight end and a good backup. You really only need one. And even then, like, how much of an advantage is it giving you to win? Yep. So, yeah, good good thoughts for sure, Neil. Again, appreciate your super chat, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, I think, you, I think you're definitely making the right move there. Neil, have you gotten a team blueprint? If you have got a team blueprint, we would have definitely been telling you to do that for sure. But yeah. I'm curious. I'm curious yeah. to see your team. So, I uh, hope you can join I, us over there if you have Dude, I, I haven't told you this. I... It is crazy how many blueprints I've done recently that own Kyle Pitts. It is so many. Like it, I, I don't. It's I, it's got to be by chance, right? Probably. All these people sending yeah. in blueprints just happen to own Kyle Pitts. Yeah, it's, prob- just, it's probably random, it's really but funny. But it's interesting. That nonetheless, I mean, um, let's see. Let's look at the draft here a little bit. So we'll we won't probably be answer, able to answer all these comments tonight because we're going to do a lot of draft analysis, but we will heavily answer super chats. Obviously, those get priority. Uh, so let's look at the end of the first year because we talked about Bowers and then it's but then you get four receivers here. So this is not even accounting for the video we just recorded about running backs. Not even accounting for any running backs being taken in the first, which I think there is a greater than sixty percent chance there's a running back here in this last four picks. But you have Thomas McConkey, Adonai Mitchell, and Troy Franklin, and honestly Xavier Worthy at the two three. All five of those guys are going to be fringe first round picks in Dynasty and fringe, fringe, fringe first round picks in the NFL draft as well. Maybe not Troy Franklin, but he could be. He's talented enough. He could be. Mm-hmm. Move to the second round here. I'll let you take the second here. Yeah, so the second is interesting here. Penix and Nix go in there. Again, that's pretty common. Um, early second, even mid second for Bo Nix. I, I think it is funny, though, how consistently we see Bo Nix kind of fall to that mid second range just because he's labeled as, you know, a more athletic Brock Purdy, so people are scared of that. They're like, "What's his upside?" Well, it's funny because Brock Purdy actually has fantasy upside. But, anyways, all that's <laughs> all that say, like Nick's going this late and him being consistently expected to go in the first round at some point. You know, same with Penix. I still think they're very good values because I think one of those two guys at least of Penix and Nick's will end up going in the first round. Love Brooks at the two one, Benson at the two five, absolute steal. That is not going to happen. Um, that that's not going to happen for long. Neil says, "No, nah, not yet. I'm down though. How do I run that again?" I just dropped in the comments there, flockfantasy.com slash domain. Follow the link, sign up for the Mother Flocker tier, and use code domain when you sign up, and that's how you get a team blueprint yep. here. Gotta use code domain. I think I have a blueprint here loaded. No, I don't have a blueprint loaded. Oh, Dude, man. that's so... Okay, here you go. There's a team blueprint. That's, that's what, what you get. And like. you get the rookie draft guide, but... Yeah. Uh, I saw a guy that was really mad. We were plugging this on our stream the other day in our comments. I was like, uh, dude, we run a business. Really? I don't think you know what you're Wait, talking why? about. Why is he mad? Because we were plugging our stuff. I'm like, seriously? Oh. Oh, All right, there we go. Uh, the first mock draft is up. Nathan, I'll let you keep doing this one. I'm going to set up another one for all of you guys, but let's keep let's break this one down. Yeah, look, that's a curious case, and he's very polarizing at this point. I think this is just where he's going to end up falling, even if like the high end expectation for Leggett is to go late first round. I do not see that realistically happening. But let me tell you, even if he goes late first, early second, I think there's enough doubters out there that he'll probably still end up falling in this range just because of the depth of the class. Yeah. Um, Keon Coleman as well, kind of a polarizing guy. A lot of athletic tools, definitely younger, so I, I'd be willing to take a shot on Keon Coleman more than I would get. Uh, then you got your run of running backs here that are all going to be totally draft capital dependent. That's Braylon Allen, Blake Corm, Jalen Wright, Marshawn Lloyd. I can almost tell you for a fact that four of these, two of these four guys will probably be major risers and two of the four will be major fallers after the NFL draft. It's just the way it is. It doesn't matter who we like or who we think is going to be really good in the NFL and as prospects. It's just the reality of draft capital with running backs. Ricky Pearsall at the end of the second here, I like a lot. All right. I just dropped the next uh, draft in this. You guys drafted so quick that, honestly, take a look at the third or fourth round. We'll break that down in more detail. Neil says, bet. Thanks, Brody. You're welcome, Neil. And, Neil, make sure you send me a friend request. Send him a friend request. And excited to chat with you, man. Excited to have you over there. I have a fun question for you. What's a fun question? So, remember this discussion that we had about, like, that running that running back every year that exceeds draft, af- draft capital expectations, like, way more than we ever thought they would go. Uh, who is that guy for you this year? Because Kend- Kendra use, Miller. Use the back button above Corey's name. There you go. And it'll be the, the top one. Gotcha. So hit back. Oh, on, yeah, you, I, I, can, I got it. I switched it. Yeah, you're good. 
because so, Kendry Miller, he was the guy last year yeah. where some people liked him, some people didn't, but it really just didn't matter until he got third round draft capital. Who is that third round guy that is going to go way higher than everyone expects? Who, 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 what would be your prediction? Come on, even all. You think it'll be even all? Yeah, that's my that's my prediction. I'm I'm still I'm still on Shipley, just that, because of his. Th- skill that set. was it, Sam, wasn't it? No, it was completed. That top one. Yeah. Re- refresh. Re- refresh that. You refresh yeah, it. it, it's buggy. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no. Go back. Go back. back. And refresh it. Oh. Refresh. Top one. There you go. Yeah. All right. It's Shipley you, for me. You think it's Shipley? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I, I will. Who do you guys think? Who's your I like? Will keep who's your running back sleeper that wrong. creeps up? Who's your running back sleeper that creeps up? And, and this isn't like an SMA or Quorum or Jalen Wright or Marshawn Lloyd, like like guys that are not even considered fringe day two, day three, like guys that just totally blow you away. Uh, Ransford says Nathan is Shipley believer. Nathan is a Shipley I believer. I am a Shipley believer. I actually, I like Will Shipley. I'm not like overly, he's higher on him than I am, but that's he's, just, he's 100%, I'm like neutral on him. He's 100% a shot call for me though, because yeah. with, with the bakery and stuff, he would technically have to be an outlier. Garendo was up there. I don't think Garendo. I'm not, I, I'm not buying Garendo. I mean, I get it. He's fast. A lot of people like Tyrone Tracy. I don't think he makes it to the third, though. There's no the way. The thing with Garendo is a lot of people, I've heard some people, not a lot, I've heard some people say they like Garendo because of his versatility and his skill set and how, you know, he has good vision and good twitch and stuff like that. And I was like, maybe I'm wrong, but I've actually heard the opposite. Like, it's kind of long speed and that's it. Like, he doesn't have very good vision. He doesn't have incredible, like, twitch or, or, or juke moves or anything like that. He's kind of just... Yeah. See hole, run fast. Corey. So What's up, Corey? I, I don't know. I'm not I I'm, I'm not as big on Grendo as a lot of people are. Uh, I'm next in the startup. Okay, this is fun. I like this. Uh Ramondre, no. Deontay or Cup. Ooh, it's Deontay or Cup for me. You taking Deontay or Cup right now? I mean, Deontay is really tempting for me in every startup draft right now. Deontay is very tempting. I would still go Cup. I think <laughs> Maybe I would go Deontay. I don't know. I think I might go. Because my at first glance, I was like, oh, yeah, Cup. Yeah. But actually, Deontay, I have no issue with you taking Deontay. Dude, Deontay's reception perception just came out it's from the 2023 stupid. season. It's just it's, vintage Deontay Johnson. Like, of ridiculous. course, I, I don't know what else I expected. But he's one of the top 10 best route runners in the NFL. Like, And, and that is factual. We're, we're not pulling that out of our butts. No. Um, no butt pulling. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not pulling, I'm not pulling anything out of there, but I just again, <laughs> what? we've been over this. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you're good with either one, Corey. Pick one of the two receivers. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for your super chat. Yeah, and actually, also, you can Corey, message me if you have any more questions. Corey had another there. very pressing and important question earlier okay. that I that I wanted to bring up. Right. Um, he he said, uh, "Who would you take to carry a ring to Mount Doom? An army of eagle, an army of eagles, or two stubby boys who like breakfast?" Breakfast boys. No, what about no second question. breakfast? That's what I want. There you go. Um, yeah. I, I mean, definitely the stubby boys just for the aesthetic. Hey, put Matthew's comment up there. Matthew says, what's good boys. Just got my blueprint. Appreciate you guys. Matthew, we appreciate you, my friend. Thank you so much for being a, a member of our little community over there. I and mean, what, yeah. happy to have you. What is the um, Lord of the Rings without the, without the hobbits? That's true. All right. So the Eagles are pretty great though. Let's take a look here at uh, this mock draft and how this has shaken out so far. Uh, Caleb Williams, Marvin, same top four. Five Romadunze, six Drake May. Okay, so this is almost exactly the same. Almost exactly, except Thomas and Thomas got moved up two spots. McCarthy got bumped. Bowers got bumped. But then in this one, you have Penix going 110. And this is something we haven't even talked about. So let's count here. I, let's do a count while we're live on the stream, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to convince you to go buy late first before the draft. Williams, Harrison, Neighbors, Daniels, Odunze, May, Thomas, McCarthy, Bowers, Penix, Worthy, Mitchell, uh, so that's 12 that could potentially go in the first round of the NFL draft. Not to mention McConkey I'd probably put in there and Nick. So 14 potentially. Even if it's two-thirds of them, you're talking nine people. And then that's not even counting. That's 14. You're not even counting Brooks and Benson who could get second or third round draft capitals running backs and they'd get bumped up. That is into the late second round before you're taking a questionable draft capital pick. That is into the late second round until you're having to take a guy that doesn't have value insulation with his draft capital. 16 guys. That's not even counting. Coleman, Leggett. I didn't technically count Franklin either. I didn't count Jalen Wright. 
I hope you see my point here. Late firsts are a steal right now. I never want to buy late first. Ever, 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 ever. Last year, before the draft, it was like, yeah, maybe. I am way higher, infinitely higher this year on late first than I was last year. And I think late first are the asset to buy the week leading to the draft. Mm, that might be a good video. We could probably do a whole video on that. We could probably do a whole video on that. Hmm. We've talked, we've, we've exhausted it. We've talked about it a lot. Mm, I don't think we have. We can talk about it. I don't, I, I mean, we haven't really talked about late first in particular. We don't have time to do it before the draft. We already have our whole lineup set up. Yeah, but we could record it in 15 we minutes. Got, we got the whole lineup set up. Oh We're gosh. doing mine before we do that. Why? Ours is pertinent to next week. <laughs> so is mine. No, it's it not. It absolutely is. It's oh all about gosh. rookies. It's all about rookies. So, it's yeah. literally all about rookies. In this rookie mock draft, Ricky Pearsall went at the end of the first. Adonai Mitchell also went early second. Then you have the four or five running backs that go in the second. But again, you've got guys like Xavier Leggett, Keon Coleman, late second. Like, I'm fine with Keon Coleman late second, honestly. I'm fine with that. Look at where the running backs are going, though. Like, Estime, Braylon Allen going in the third round here. Lloyd going at the 212 even. Like, I mean, the talent in this class and the depth of this class is just completely ridiculous. Very fun. Makes for great content creation. The running back value, though, in the like mid-third this year is going to be ridiculous. I, I just love seeing the Polks and McMillans just fall and fall and fall and fall and go into the third and fourth round. It's like, geez, those guys are unquestioned second-rounders, second-round dart throws in every other class. Every other class. Yeah. Corley just went at the 3-7. Like, we didn't even mention Corley in the depth of that stuff, but like if Corley gets day two draft capital McMillan. with a decent landing spot... He'll be a mover as well. Yeah. I'm not buying the Brendan Rice stuff. What do you think about Brendan Rice? I, I typically haven't been buying it either. I like Jacob Is it Gowan. just the name value? Potentially. Because he's Jerry's son? Potentially. But it's not somebody that I've looked into and come away like really, like really totally you know. blown away. And there's a reason he's going in the third, which is fair, you know. But yeah. 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 You, you listen to the audio. How's, mm -hmm. it, how's, it, how's it sounding? How's it sounding? Pretty good. <laughs> good. SMA, Irving, Shipley, you're going to see that pretty common in the third round. Dart throws. Um, There's definitely a difference in our audio. Nice. Yeah. We got good, new mics, so good we're really excited. Or, good difference or bad? Difference? Good. Like, you, good? when you okay. hear me, it's going to sound like you're sitting next to me. It's awesome. Oh, sweet. Yes. Yeah. Nice. How so, about that? Yeah. Javon Baker goes. Ray Davis goes. Tez Walker goes. And then the run of tight ends. So, like, really, we've not seen the third or fourth tight end go into the fourth round, usually in these drafts. Yeah. And honestly, like, Get that's... Used to it. You sh you think so? You don't think there are any? You don't think there's a third or fourth tight end that might creep up into the like the late third? No, really? No. Okay, all right. Okay, I'd much They're rather usually, I'd much rather take a shot on a day three running back. I would too. I would too, but I feel like if a, if a tight end gets second round draft capital that we're not expecting, he would jump to the third. Which I don't. That's not saying much. I, well, would you expect that with? I, I mean. Shoemaker and Strange got that last year, and it didn't really make a difference. Washington as well. It's just they were so third, much right? A, uh, Washington was third. Strange and Shoemaker were both second round Jeez, picks. Man, that's nuts. That was a classic Jerry pick right there. Last year, last year's what, last year was the year to get a tight end in a dynasty if you were going to get a, like a young one. Oh yeah, so, we did, well, no, we got that. Twenty twenty three as much hype as twenty twenty four gets. Like twenty twenty three was the definition of depth. Remember, we were just talking about that, and really in hindsight too, especially at the wide receiver position. Think about the depth that it showcased. How much upside do we have with Addison, Reed, JSN, Flowers? We don't really know right now, but we know that they're all pretty safe assets to own at the moment, and they all increased in value. Tight ends, Michael Mayer, pretty safe investment, pretty safe hold. Kincaid, like all, all it, it's it's really fun to see all that 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 entire class last year really pan out, and from a value perspective, not that they're all going to hit long term, but you got to stop talking when we get super chats, Nathan. Ne we, uh, me, you, you, you dude. You we had it. He had it up there, and I kept pointing at it. And you just kept, <laughs> Hummel says next Photoshop is now Avery with a light bulb over his head, getting an idea for a new video. Oh my gosh, <laughs> your photoshops, man. Did you see the one? Sound effect. It goes. Uh, duh. Well, I have sound an effect. idea. <laughs> uh, duh. Oh my gosh. Do I sound like that? Dude, th That's, this is so random. I don't feel like I do. I don't Did know you why see that this? Made me think of no. Is that Holy not horrifying? Crap. Hummels, I'm showing him the. Sh it's a secret thing. 
It's freaking awful. It's terrifying. Oh. He, he photoshops things onto our faces. Dude, that it's, actually disturbingly looked like me. AI doesn't get your face as good as it gets mine. The I know, Photoshop I know. Stuff. He does He does not have me nailed yet. No. He do, He definitely has he you nailed, nailed and he me. doesn't have me yet, yeah. which I'm kind of happy about. So, uh, Hummels, appreciate <laughs> your super chat, really and I'm excited to see your next Photoshop. The one under it says, Di Dynasty Sykes says, is that SM7B I hear? You know an SM7B when you hear one, buddy. Yeah, we dropped <laughs> legitimately like 1500 bucks on our new audio stuff. Like between the mics, the preamps, and the cables, like, and the, these new boom arms, like, it was upgrade time. So we got like the top of the line audio stuff. Thanks to you guys. And again, every every single dollar that we get from anywhere, whether it's the site, like we do not pay ourselves. Everything goes back into it to up the quality of this thing. Like we want to be quality gurus. High quality. All right. So there is that completed draft. Again, the, the tight end run at the end I mentioned, but Kamani Vidal goes there. Uh, Spencer Rattler. I like Jermaine Burton at the 411 is like my favorite pick probably. Jermaine. So. All right, let's do another one. Somebody asked, where can I get in these mocks? And the answer to that question is flockfantasy.com slash domain. So yep. mm. that's where you can go to get the blueprint. It's where you can go to get the rookie draft guide. It's where you can go to get literally everything that we are talking about on here. And it also is where you can join these drafts. We draft every single week at this point. We draft, we're drafting every week, most of the time twice a week. And honestly, we, we just love our people over there. Like, that's, that is... That is how it is. So we would love to have you over there as well. But Whoa, well, Take It Easy Man is back. He says, Whoa, well, Take It Easy Man, what's up? Quality bangers. Let me go full screen for that one. Quality bangers. What, what does that say? Quality. 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 No, quality. No, no, just, say, just read quality. No, 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 no. But it says quality. No, no. Quality. Itty bangers. Quality. Oh, dude, read it. It's just says I can't, quality. I can't see it from here. Okay, read it on my computer. Okay. Quality. And then ITY. Quality at eBangers. Yep. That's what it is. Quality at eBangers. Yep. All right, I'm going to send out this link to the next mock draft on flockfantasy.com slash domain. He says, okay, so Period I'm eating gone. ribs, and I think the grease affected my typing on that <laughs> Dude, eating ribs on a Friday, like <laughs> watching DD, where else would you rather be? Uh, dude, Corey says, let's sponsor a rookie draft tonight. There uh, you go. A, a YouTube All right, draft. A YouTube rookie draft tonight. Appreciate it, buddy. All right, so let's... Uh, Did you see this? Waffle every every dollar goes he, to, to pay in-house general counsel. There you go. <laughs> Waffle Officer says he doesn't have me nailed yet. Avery 2024. Gosh dang it. <laughs> it's the super chat, Sam. He's following his best Boyle again. <laughs> Crap. I I'm going to start calling you Charles Boyle. Dude, and what's funny is, like, I'm the king of making those jokes. Like, why Why is it me? I Clearly don't know. Will you change the sleeper mock draft over, Sam? No. But I, I, ju I just sent over the next mock draft. Speaking of those amazing shows, I just watched the Parks and Rec episode yesterday where um, Ron was in England or in London and he was talking trash about it the whole time. And at the end, he like goes to the Highlands. Yes. <laughs> and he that's walks the up best the hill episode. and all the sheep. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> he reads the poem. Awesome. He's like, <laughs> I don't know what was I don't know what. <laughs> That's awesome. I did just oh drop the link gosh. to the mock draft the sheep that in the YouTube me. comments for y'all. So, so join up. Come draft with us. Three more spots to fill, and then we're going to start this thing. Uh, Corey says he's sponsoring the rookie draft, so let's put Corey's super chat up, and let's leave it up because he's, he's our sponsor for tonight. Although we could, we could, I mean, Woe Take It Easy Man also had a, a $10 super chat, as, as well as a couple other people, so we could technically do all of it, but Corey specifically wanted to sponsor it, so. Mm. All right. And two more spots in our rookie mock if you want to draft with us. I just dropped the link in the comments if you want to draft in the sleeper draft with us. We'll do a one or two more here. Having lots of fun. Drop all your questions, drop all your comments. We'll get to the ones we can. It's tough. We have a lot of comments on these videos now. Good show. But lots of after ones. this, it will be off the air is when I'll convince Nathan that I have a good video idea. And he'll be like, okay, you're right. Okay, you're right. <laughs> Whatever, Nathan. I had a good video idea and you're like, yeah. I don't think it's, it's a, a bad good, video idea. I think the timing of it was what I was idea. skeptical about. I would rather do it. A, it's very applicable. We're in like the height of rookie draft season. You're like, let's debate what a hit is. We're not debating. It ended up being something that we totally landed on together and like totally agreed on. Wow. And it absolutely is relevant to rookies. It's li literally the point of it is rookies and value. We might have to do rock, paper, scissors for it. Mm. I mean, that settles pretty What's much your rock, everything. paper, scissors uh, strategy? I can't tell you because then you beat me. Do you do reverse psychology? Double psychology? Is that the same thing? I'm not telling you. 
I always play rock every single time. <clears throat> That's the so name of the game. Are you lying about that? Or are you lying about telling the truth? Or are you telling the truth about lying? <laughs> All right. Whoa, what the heck is happening here? Whoa. Okay, so... Y'all are getting cute with it, right? <laughs> Boo. Noah, you're getting cute here. <laughs> Jaden Daniels at the one one's pretty cute, but is it pretty? <sighs> yes. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. It is. Harrison it is one hundred percent. But then o <laughs> we got Odunze at three, and then you're getting Caleb Williams and Neighbors at four and five. Cardiac Kid and Farley had the two picks of the draft Come so on, far, guys. Which Kingdom? I get it. Like we hyped up Romo Dunze, but the reason we've hyped him up is because you're getting him at the one oh seven. One oh seven. Yeah. That's what makes him good. So don't. So remember. Here we go. They're adjusting for the running backs too. Yep, love it. I like the. I like switching it up here. Probably not going to happen in reality here in a week and a half, but I like it. Gives us some discussion. Mm. We like Rome because of his price, but you still take the value, and the value is going to probably be with neighbors. Corey, Sorry, that's yes, what sir. she said. Nice. Mm. Um. So Caleb, at the if you get Caleb at the one four, you're, you're walking out of there and you're like, holy freaking crap. Neighbors, May, Thomas, McCarthy, and Bowers. There you go. Those those. Four back to back to back. Again, the one six is a is a pick that I'm targeting right now too because I'm getting Drake May there. But then at the end of that, you've got Trey Benson, Jonathan Brooks, in the first round, eating W's. Toddy B12, I think I said that right. Yeah. Uh, both of those guys took running backs, and this is this is realistic. This is in the realm of possibilities where you have these guys push. Let's look, McConkey, Worthy, Holy Pearsall. I know. The, the which you've game. seen, I've seen this a lot of places, Nathan. A Avery, huh? What is that a new thing? Shooting for upside, Daniels. no, 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 it's Noah. Oh, no, 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 there's a different. Oh, Noah we, have a, we have a Noah we have Kellum. a Noah Kellum. Is there? Yes, yeah, yeah. I, it's yeah. not him. So, Noah, my my wife's maiden name is Kellum, and her brother's name Noah. So, my brother in law's name is Noah Kellum, spelled the same and all, spelled that. the exact same. Like, yeah. it, I literally thought it was him when I first saw your name, which yep. he's been around for a while, but uh. I'm getting Drake May at the 106. No, you're not. You sure about that? You it's, sure about it's that? It's going to happen. It's absolutely going to happen. Yeah. Well, I mean, 100%. maybe he's saying not in our leagues because he plays in those leagues with me. Um, okay, fine. I get Rome at the 106. Do you see how that works? <laughs> like, you see why I like the 106 now? It's our favorite spot to draft. Love it. Uh, so then when you have those two running backs at the end of the first round, McConkey, Worthy, Pearsall, Franklin, Mitchell, all get pushed down. By the way, I have seen Ricky Pearsall. Uh, guys, Ricky Pearsall. Rising. Is he an early, is he worthy of an early second round pick in Dynasty Rookie Drafts or not? This is pre-draft. Th I think not yet. I, I, I want to see, see, see where and when he goes. But I'm not taking him over Adonai Mitchell if Adonai Mitchell gets first. Have you draft actually capital. seen this in other mock drafts? Before? Yes, we just well we just saw it two in a row. But well, uh, that was after I said I like Pierce at the two twelve. <laughs> sure, but, but I've seen it on Twitter. People are putting him as this like wide really? receiver five. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, dude. What if he reunited with uh, Anthony Richardson? That'd be something. Cheesehead says no, which I think no as well. Cheesehead. She said still drafting. He's at the one eight. Yeah. Uh, LOL, no way. That's crazy. Kellen's a pretty uncommon last name. Yeah. It, it yeah. seriously like the first time I saw, it, I was like, and he's like, he, he is a very. <laughs> I, there was no way it was him. <laughs> that's what I'll say. Uh, so yeah, it was crazy. But anyways. So in this totally could could be. He could no, be no, it can't. Us. No, it cannot. <laughs> Benson and Brooks, the next well, running back. Your life on that. No, I can't. Oh, that's hilarious. Nice job, Sam. Do I need to add I a mute button for you on the stream deck, too? Because <laughs> I will. <laughs> I didn't have mute buttons for each of you. Why? What did I say? I already have yours on here. <laughs> you know what's cool? I actually have mute buttons over here. How to get fired Losers. real quick. If McCarthy falls, you are definitely going to have to mute me. Just saying. Falls to where? Oh, it falls like where I think on the fall. on the stream. Yeah, yeah. Because oh. I will not stop talking. Well, the about good it. news with that is it's not going to happen. So <laughs> I'm like, I was so I looked at the betting odds. So let's look. I, I, I'm curious. I'll read this to you guys while we're yeah, on the I'd air. I'd love to hear those Levis betting odds hey, too. Stop talking. Waffle, um, Hauser. Waffle Hauser. I'm not super bad. chat. Said I just traded the 106 for a Lave. I like it and I hate it at the same. I time. I like that trade. Yeah, Waffle. Uh, he made this trade with uh, Warrior King, I think, because he because Waffle's been going and asking me about the trade, and then Warrior King asked me about the same trade because I keep negotiating in the same league, and I'm like, I don't know what to do here, and um, 
I honestly, to be completely honest, I like it for both sides. I do too. I like the value like inflation it. of the 106, and I like the proven aspect of it. I like Kamara in that I trade legitimately too. told both of you that I'm like, yeah, I'm cool with it. I, I seriously am for both of you. All right. Uh, whoa, take it easy, man. Dude, we appreciate you, my friend. You're the best. You're freaking spoil us. Bangers, gentlemen. Salute. Absolute bangers. Odunze stock up. Javante Williams stock up. Tank mm. Dell stock up. Rattler stock up. Theo Johnson. That's a new one stock up. All right. We're leaving that one up there for a while. We hey, got any. We uh, have to read Hummels real quick. No one mutes Sam. Okay. I, I, thank you, I, I, okay. Hummels, for your support. <laughs> All right. Put Woe Jiggity's Man's back out there. He he, he has uh -huh. taken over Corey's uh, spot. And, well, real quick. I, I, I am fired all the time well yeah when so when he's not hearing john's here we have john do it but yeah uh, no i'm but i am it's it's they can't make up their mind with me so i just kind of show up and i have well, we you, you we literally let you do it <laughs> anytime you come <laughs> we have never told you you couldn't <laughs> right, but i'm fired when i'm not here well, you also have verbally said you're fired before so <laughs> that's true that's, that's more what but i fired nathan one time here. too did you really? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. That would be pretty, that would be so. pretty funny though. <laughs> just, just try to fire you. Like you're fired. Like you I, can't do that. I thought it was funny when Becca was like, "Is this your guys' version of fighting?" I was like, "No, this is this oh my is, this is us aggressively communicating." <laughs> I know. <laughs> See, the only I time know, we Becca was like, <laughs> and I was like, "You have no idea." <laughs> the the only time we actually like laid into each other was that that the last time we were down here. Down here. Yes. Oh One time, gosh, Nathan, the only time so Nathan funny. and I have like gotten mad at each other was we were just. Well, I was real. I was really late one day, and I was I flipped out. <laughs> Which was. Funny, but it's because he was. It, kept, it was. We it was a whole both, thing. We were. We were, we were both, both on butts. edge. We were both very on edge. So I don't know why at that point, but whatever. Yeah. All right. Let's look at this completed <laughs> draft. Um, Polk, McMillan went back to back. Corley. You got Estime in the third. Right in the third. Bucky Irving, Frank Gore in the third, and you've got Luke McCaffrey. I don't think Luke McCaffrey's that that good. I like Javon Baker over Luke McCaffrey, and they're going five. Like I would take Javon Baker there over take Luke McCaffrey there, and I would take Javon Baker over Tez Walker, and I would take Javon. Ba nah. Javon Baker, I'd probably take after Polk, McMillan, and Corley. But then you've got Cowing, you've got Rice, you've got Wilson, uh, Jermaine Burton didn't even go in this draft. Spencer Rattler in the third. I, I keep saying Davis go there in the fourth round, end of the fourth. Really, Isaiah Davis, the uh, South Dakota State guy. The Jackrabbit. The Jackrabbit. Rabbit. I'm glad we've seen Kamani Vidal start going in these drafts too. Yes. Like, that's nice. Yes, I, I'm a fan. Yeah. All right, what should we do? One more? Yeah, why not? All right, let's do one more. Why not? Why, why not? not? Let's do one why more. Not? I got I to gotta get it created, but we'll go full screen there for a second. We can leave Woe Ticket Easy Man's comment up because he's a baller. Appreciate mm. you, buddy. Mm. I, I wish when I created Third these man. I wish when I created these drafts about? that it automatically put it to the last one, but it always freaking changes it. It's so stupid. I, I have to go through and redo the settings every time. All right, I've got it now. All right, I'm dropping this in the Discord first, and then I'll drop it in YouTube. But if you're on the Discord, five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Which I realize in the announcements tab is not just our mother flockers. So I really need to start putting it in our chats for just mother flockers because we have we definitely have other code users in here. So not that we don't love you guys, but we don't love you as much. <laughs> for sure, that's just how it is. We have to love our peeps, right? The I peeps. just dropped that. Let's see, one, two, <laughs> one, two, three, Dude, four, five. Did you see the AI thing that they made about the peeps? Last yes, week, that, the was domain that, was that was really funny. Corey's in this one. It's like, if we ever had that many peeps, we Cardiac kids be... in this one? <laughs> that would be, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Farley's in. One, two, three, four spots left. Oh so gosh. I'll take this one to the YouTube comments. Three, two, five, four, one. There you go. Ah, nice draft with us, draft with us. Count up, count Schnitz up. is here. Schnitz is the first one tonight. What's up, buddy? Uh, switch the spot. Fitz Dinger. Tom Lloyd's here. Braden's here. One more. And Eating yeah. W's is in this one again. All right. Dude, you know Did what? you switch it over? Yep. Okay, cool. You know what we should I do? I am speed. <laughs> Kerchu. <laughs> here we go. Guido. <laughs> go. Speed stop. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we, we quoted Nemo on a video this week. That was kind of fun. <laughs> Don't touch the butt. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison Jr. We're good. I'm surprised we didn't get as much backlash on today's video. Do you guys think we defended our case well with Romo Dunze on our video? The today? peeps were happy about it. I'm curious. For the most part, I know they're like, "Thanks," which actually, is really because I, I was. But remember I last year when we made our, when we called our shot on Anthony Richardson, people were so mad about that. It's got to be tone, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Do you guys think we? <laughs> Torsten said we don't love you as much. That's really funny. <laughs> I know. I know you do. Like I wouldn't either. We definitely have our favorites. Um... Do you think we defended our case well on Rome? 
I feel like we did. I feel like we took an analytical analytical approach, and also yeah. like Matt, I know for player, a fact it's about the price. Matt Harmon's no, calling the same shot, the and I think he's better at this than I am. So, yeah. not doing it because he did it, but it's more like confirmation bias. Mm. Mm. Um, you know what we should do for the all night live stream? Which, by the way, all night live stream this oh, Friday. Oh, I need to put that up. Yeah, I th- put it, put it up while I we're talking about think, this. I think, I think it's this one. Oh, yeah, look, there it is. let's go, guys. Thursday, pre-draft live stream. Friday. Also a pre-draft all live stream, and then we're going long. all night long, all night, all night, all night, all night long, all night, <laughs> all night, <laughs> all night. <laughs> People just turned it off. The worst thing anybody's ever heard on this show, for sure. Not even close. Um, Damien says I'm confused. Is where I'm going at 105 or 106? He could go anywhere. Like honestly, he went in the 103 last draft. So yeah. Uh, but this one back to normal. You get Penix back up there. Worthy. Add an I Mitchell, Brian Thomas, and then you've got Lad McConkey and the two running backs going in the beginning of the second. But again, up into that two yep. three, it's like that's pretty good, pretty 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 good. And that right there is the reason why I'm still telling people to trade back from the 109, 110. Uh, Sebastian says, "I am Sebastian." <laughs> okay. Hello, uh, I am Avery. What is up? <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> I am. <laughs> that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> Uh, Man of Cole says, hey guys, wondering where I'm supposed to look for my team blueprint. Uh, check out the blueprint FAQ question or FAQ channel in our uh, Discord on the Flock Discord and you'll answer all the questions about blueprints there on where you can find it, how long until you get it, etc. I can tell you right now because I'm looking at our blueprint tracker. Man of Cole, Aww, yours is number two on the list, so you should be getting yours. What? Second blueprint on the list, ETA. Oh, wait, which one? Say this again. It's the second one on the list. Man so of Cole. Uh, it would be the next time you well, do Well, the second one on the list isn't necessarily the second one on the list. It's the ones that I have his, highlighted. His, oh. He's uh, he's due up for... So he'd be fourth. He, he's in he's in the uh, the, the second group. Okay. So he's he's coming up. All right, you're, you're coming, coming up. up. There you go. You're welcome, buddy. Yep. Uh, Damien says Avery can sing in that. I, I cannot sing. I, I cannot sing. Uh, Dude, stop. <clears throat> ah, terrible. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, Sam, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh yes. Uh, Hummel says the reason I like your vids <laughs> is because I think you. I don't know ex- why that got me? That was so funny. Is because I think you express your opinions with valid, well-spoken points. So yes, I almost always feel like you express your opinions well. Hummel, that's a, almost that's a freaking good compliment. Thank you, dude. Thank you. That it's, seriously means a lot to us. It reads a little bit like it was written by chat, but thanks. <laughs> Shut up! It's like <laughs> one sentence. <laughs> Whatever. That's so dumb. <laughs> Uh, Brendan says he thinks he's real right about Rome, uh, but he's an Ohio State fan. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sebastian. Sebastian, I am. Sebastian. I am Sebastian. Says my glorious King Braylon Allen. I'm glad you're. Hey, look, we got a Braylon Allen standing here. I'm. I'm good with that. I am Braylon S- Allen. Speaking of, he went at the two eight. Lloyd went at the two nine. Corum was up. Cor- so Corum is again. Corum's a guy that they're just generally higher on than we are. Which I guess is fine, but he could easily like jump up, and people could be like, "Hi, oh, I told you so." We'll be like. We said it was going to be draft capital dependent. So, I mean, what? What did I say? <laughs> did I you say didn't, no, you didn't say anything. I was just, I, I'm still hung up on the whole, <laughs> the the whole singing thing. What did it he just, do? It just made me laugh. I, that I missed because it because he did something that made you laugh. What did who do? Sam. Sam. Yeah. Oh, he he. Uh, oh oh he he did he did the whole opera thing, and I was like, Sam is actually Sam is the singer. And then he just like awkwardly coughed like immediately after I said it, and it just made me laugh a lot. So okay. right. there you go. Well, we it was it was not a big deal. Yeah, don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, no, Sam is should... also very funny. <coughs> <laughs> Anyways, right, we've got it down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you know what we need, you know what we need to do? What do we need? Oh, we need to do the we need to reveal <laughs> the winners to the thing. Yes. Okay. So the winners, we... okay, but also before that, before that, you know what we do? We need to do for the all night live stream. We need to get all of like all of the AI generated things that they have ever made for us, and we need to get them all, you know, compiled, yeah, and then just kind of, you know, showcase them for the live. Okay, show. so I forgot about this, but tonight we are doing the spin, the spin the wheel, uh, for the social media giveaway. So we're giving away a team blueprint. Uh, I think that's right. Uh, I think it's right here, maybe. Yes. Okay. Here's the social media giveaway. Uh, ended today at noon. Uh, the grand prize, the first one's going to be a team blueprint, live review, and domain shirt and water bottle. The second yeah. ones are going to get free church t shirt and water bottle. So there's going to be three winners tonight. And if you entered on social media, I have your handle. And we're going to do this here in a second. So stick around for that because that's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. The contest. It- <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is a factual statement. If Nathan ever dies, I'll just replace him with a robot. And now I know I've got. I know it's going to be good. Like that's essentially what I've got. So, 
Uh, JJ McCarthy sucks. Seboyshin <laughs> says, my glorious king, Johnny Wilson. You have multiple glorious king, huh? Interesting. Let, uh, you let your emotions flow like a liver stream. Can I you have a liver shit. stream? Never mind. I said river stream. I heard liver. You're Dude, just, a liver stream. You're just hungry. Oh, that sounds horrible. Have you ever had liver? Mm. Apparently, it tastes just like straight iron. I've heard it tastes like chicken. I feel like I've had it. I've had I've had chicken li I've had chicken liver. No 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 no. That that's no chicken liver. No 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 no. I cow's it. liver. Oh. That's that's liver liver. That's liver liver. When people talk about the liver, have you ever had that? Yeah, I've heard it tastes I've, like. I've chicken. never had it. No no no. It tastes like iron. Like horrible. Liver hardly know. Hummel says, ha, it's nice. funny that, that Nathan funny. thinks things I make are AI generated. <laughs> Do you really? I think it's, I think it's, I think it's just Hummel's no, trying his luck with Photoshop. Right, haven't both of you? I mean, yeah, pho Photoshop. Okay. It, I mean, Photoshop. Yeah. RTK, what's up, buddy? Good they don't see believe you. you. They're not All of believers. your Photoshop generated works of art that are honestly, they are beautiful. I, I personally enjoy the peeps the most. Braden says he's got the best rookies. Who's Braden got? Williams, McConkie, Wright, and Baker. Honestly, I think I agree with you. I like yours the best. Good job, Braden. I'll let you pat yourself on the back for that one. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to go through after we do these last four picks. We're going to do our giveaway. And then uh, we'll take any more Super Chats we got. And then yeah. we've got T minus six days, five days tomorrow until That's the true. That's true. So, yeah. Hey, Ooh. Hummels, Hummels, go ahead and uh, DM me or Avery with all of the AI. Or yeah, send the, us everything the, you've made. All the Photoshop made. that you've ever done on us, and we will we will see what we can do with them. All right. We just need them all in one place. There you go. Let's do our social media giveaway. So I, here I have on my computer in front of me a wheel, and in this wheel is all of your names if you entered. And Dude, now I'm going to super cool looking wheel. Spin the freaking wheel three times. Yeah, spin the. Freak I would out of share that wheel. it there, but spin I had an wheel. issue which, with which my Which one cord. determines the? The first one will be the grand prize winner. There you go. No, we got to do that last. Okay, last one will be grand prize winner. I, I, I think it should be first. No, 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 no. Rock paper scissors first or last? That's no, last. It's, yes, that's do it. On no, shoot. This is this is two the, beats one. No, Cause I, no, because I don't care. I don't care. Let's go. Real Do quick. rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, Sam. Best of three? No. All right, so I didn't, up never first is the grand prize. Off team, screen, team Sam Bloom. threw paper All right, now and beat Nathan. Now stop. Oh. Rock. Now, <laughs> blueprint, live review, water bottle, t-shirt. Grand prize. Who gets a free... free you know there, bud? Yeah, let's okay. let's go. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. The wheel's spinning. <laughs> That was really good. That was really uh, good. Okay, it's going to be... No way. Uh, oh, Garrett, oh. it was on you, and it was on Bon, bon Peefy. Peef. Bon Peefy got it. Let's go. All right, Bon Peefy, you are the grand prize winner. It means you get another blueprint, yeah. which I know you've already gotten one, and I love talking to you over there. Uh, you also get... We'll ship you a shirt, ship you a water bottle. Cool, congratulations. Thanks for entering. All right, we get two more winners now. These are going to be to get a free domain shirt. I've got one right now. Huh? Huh? Check out the merch shop. Check out the merch shop. Mm. Shirt, water bottle. Here yeah. we go. Another spin. Three, two, one. So what, what's that supposed to be? Joe. Okay, cool. It's supposed to be your mom. Oh, uh, it's going to be T-Lane. T-Lane 97. 97 is our next winner. You get a free shirt and you get a water bottle. Okay. Are we, we like uh, tracking these? How about I just put them in social media? Thanks. Well, you kind yeah. of, I mean, you're saying it. Yeah, we're we going to say we have them on the live stream. <laughs> so, as long as, so I feel like we are keeping track of this somehow. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to take notes here. Yeah. Uh, bon Peefy. What's his actual username? Bon Peefy. Uh, it's Bon Peefy on Discord. This, yeah. is, okay. this is way too high. Carp 23 is Whoa. All right, here we go. But last one. Spin the wheel for the last t shirt water bottle combo. Thank you. Here we go. <gasps> oh, it might be Isaiah. It's Garrett. Garrett Builds is our last winner. Which Garrett Builds is that's Garrett Middleton, right? If it is, Great I'm respitting because he can't win. <laughs> He's one of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. All right, I'm checking. We might redo that because if it's one of our staff guys, I will give the opportunity to somebody else. I'm pretty sure it's Garrett Builds. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. We got some super chats while we're waiting. Just do a just do a backup. I don't know, just in case. No, we'll do it. Well, Garrett builds is our third winner. So Garrett, appreciate you, man. Congratulations. Okay. We did get a super chat okay, from Mo. Cool. Take it easy, man. It, this is not like true. Yeah, but that's what I told him. You guys are the value high, equivalent too high of, praise, of ESPN and FS1. I'm not gonna lie. I think the audio 
we'll get there. I think the audio is there when I when I iron this out. We literally installed these, but like we don't have fiber internet here, so we are going off of like 25 meg upload speed from this freaking house. Like it is the slowest internet, and we so if we actually had good internet, our video picture. I mean, like we would have. We are we're getting to a point where we're seriously considering like the, uh, like having the them fiber. run fiber like yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah, but I take Dynasty Domain one on one in any draft. You won't take it easy, you won't take it easy, man. Uh, you flatter us. That's what you got to do. Thanks, buddy. We, you, you seriously like you give us so much support. We we love you guys. You guys you guys are awesome to us. We we started this with no yes. RTK said yes, twenty five. <laughs> yes. What's, Meanwhile, yes, twenty five. Avery and I Dude, have like the whole city. Except for a couple locations, almost the whole city of Indianapolis hasn't been upgraded like the internet in it's like twenty five years. It now. is an absolute joke. It's that ridiculous. Fiber is not yeah. universal. It, it, so like at my house, horrible. I have a gigabyte upload, and Sam has it, and he lives gigabit. ten minutes away. Yeah. yeah. So well, it's gigabit internet, a gigabyte up and down. No, it's gigabit. It's up and gigabyte. Down. No. Like I, a bite I, will, I will put a lot of money on this. It's called gigabit because it's, it's gigabit. called gigabit, but it's a gigabyte. No. Yes, it is. No. You do not upload Let's, and download a gigabyte <laughs> per second. That's nuts. So Dylan Manning has a super chat. But um, I'm saying the upload speed is one gigabyte. All right, while you're finding this. Per what? It's one gigabit per second. Can we get to our next super chat, please? Yeah, we do have another super Dylan chat. Dylan Manning says, I'm sitting at the 103. If Caleb or Marvin falls to three... Dude, if Caleb falls at three, it's a smash. How does that? How does it change if I trade the pick or just take the value Take the value. Three? You need to take the value. You're, you're not trading that. You're taking the no. value. Nope. Good question. That's great value. But especially if one of those guys falls, it's an absolute seal. Obviously, assuming it's super flex. If DD is your target, you should trade down and take the value. <laughs> That's freaking amazing. That's a good comment right there. I love it. Uh, yeah, you guys feel sorry for us. I know. Maybe still have some upside? Gigabyte is present tense. Gigabit is past tense. That's... No. There you go. That's funny. <laughs> it's a joke. Byte bit. Uh, I, now I have to yeah. think yep. about yep, the, I get it. what the other... Anna, Anna said it's, it's megabits per second. I just ran a test. Correct. Okay. Never mind. I'm just not even not going to do it. I know when you're talking about, but it's not, but I don't. No, I want to hear it. Let's go. No, I'm yeah. not doing this. They don't want to hear this. You just, you just stopped yourself like on three different. I know because I it's not worth it. It is, is that I'm right. It is not worth it. All right. Whoa. Take it easy, man. Whoa. Take it easy, man. Appreciate you guys so much. We're going to call it there. Uh, maybe record another video after Nathan and I decide what we're going to do. So. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait a minute. So that's the present tense? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like you could do it now. Yep. You could. Yep. All right. I'm going to do it. You guys, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> that's where I'll call it. All right. Appreciate you guys so much. We'll be back. Hmm. On what day? Well, it depends. Are we doing an extra? If we do an extra video, we could do one. We could do a weekend video. You want to do it now? I think we could. We have time. I want it now. I want it. I want it. I want it now. now. Extra video this weekend. See you guys this Look, weekend for I can an extra spin video. Around. And then we'll be here for the draft <laughs> next week. Appreciate you guys. Peace out.